Can we go for 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stop interfering in my huge, you bastard. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 Season Mode, 24-7 Mode, Career Mode, whatever you want to call it. It is going down. Thank you for joining me, as always. It's time to kick up another week of Monday Night Raw. New Year's Revolution is this Sunday. It's good old JR Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And tonight, Mr. McMahon inducts himself into the WWE Hall of Fame. But if I can help speaking it. Speaking as one Hall of Famer about another, I think it's long overdue. Not everyone's as happy about it as you are, King. Our champion, for one. That idiot knows what's good for him. He won't even show up at the arena tonight. I'll be there. Don't you worry about that. I cannot begin to tell you how humbled I am to accept this great honor, which I deserve more than anyone else in sports entertainment history. How much more of this is there? JR, shh, don't let Mr. McMahon. Here he comes. I told you I'd be here. What the hell's he doing? I don't believe this. He's lost his mind. You better get your boy out of here, Dreamer. I don't care who he is. I'll drop that swan tom bomb. Get the fuck out of here. What we just saw. The champion completely ruined Mr. McMahon's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Well, well, well. Yeah, and those two extremists are going to make him pay. Real smart move right before New Year's Revolution. Vince has called for the help of Sandman and Marcus Corvon. A week out of New Year's Revolution, huh? It's a good thing I'm ready to throw down. Let's do it. I've been itching, biting at the bit. Can he capitalize on it? In the previous episode, by the way, guys, if you have missed any, there is a playlist link down below. We teamed up with Shane and Stephanie McMahon to get back at Vince. We invaded... Well, not really invaded because we were invited to ECW's pay-per-view December to Dismember. Not only did we take out the Sandman, not only did we take out Marcus Corvon, but, but we also took out you. Bobby Lashley three matches in the one pay per view, and we won every single match. I think Vince is a little bit pissed off. Uh, I think it's He's aligned himself with ECW, but the uh, WWE well, champion has taken exception to that. This is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR. It'll be but interesting to see who we face come New Year's and Lord Revolution. Knows it's been up there for so long. That that would be but until no then, we've got thing. some ECW trash to throw out. And the fact that Sandman didn't the get Sandman disqualified by using ECW that means we can get some weapons original. involved too, so I'm Either really going to enjoy this. Is the perfect representation of if we can brand. swing some momentum yeah, our way, because at the moment, uh, violent, we're copping a bit of a beating. Hardcore and passionate. But I know you have your own view. What about you, Marcus? You want some? Yeah. No, 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 Marcus. You hit Marcus. We'll hit Marcus! I think we're going to find out just how much punishment the human body can withstand. We'll get out of this. I think you're right, King. These superstars I told you. seem intent on taking each other to the limit. I love that attitude, JR. Go big or go home. Well, these superstars sure aren't going home until this match is settled once and for all. We're not in enough trouble to be worried here, but um, they've definitely had the upper hand on us this match so far. I'm not going to lie. Is to underestimate your opponent. I don't think he's underestimating. Oh come on, Sam, make it here. I think he's making it clear. Oh no, 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 no. I don't think so. 
Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's Let's just get this into the ring then. The start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us? Thank you. No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match. Uh oh. I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind. Marcus Corvon copying Brock Lesnar's clothesline. Newer, as far as I can tell. Oh, boy. This looks like an all or nothing. Yay! Move. We're not going to get the pin, though, because the problem is. You gotta respect the in the 2v1, the of these superstars to their they're careers. always going to break up no the pinfall, the bastards. Gotcha. That last shot busted him open, and the blood is flowing freely. This is Sandman is raging. Where else besides the WWE I completely forgot this uh, busting him open him puts him into a king, frenzy. But I'm afraid I don't share your enthusiasm. Corvon is going to work on the neck of Hardy. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Vince might actually get uh, the retribution he's looking for for me interrupting the. Oh, ow! Athletes than the WWE superstars. You're not wrong, King. They compete every week until they are. See what I mean? Just as I'm trying to swing a little bit of momentum, the other gets involved. The WWE. We're not talking about running a ball down a field or slapping a puck into a net. This is serious. Oh, here we go. Competition. It sure is the toughest athlete. What a move! Are on the WWE roster. What a move by Jeff Hardy. He's a slippery devil. He's got a Swanton bomb in reserve. Hook the turnbuckle he goes. I hope he knows what he's doing. Oh, he caught me mid-air. He hit me mid-jump. And he's got the camel clutch locked back in. Man, is there even going to be anything left of these superstars by the time they're done? Not if they have their way, King. Cool Von putting more of a fight up here than he did at the ECW pay-per-view. The Sandman as well. I hope these fans appreciate it, JR. These superstars. The numbers game might be a little bit too strong for Jeff Hardy here, folks. What a spear! WWE champion is reeling. Over a decade. WWE fans have been thrilled by the daredevil and Jeff's going to dig deep here. Confidence radiating off this superstar. What? All I see is an overconfident superstar who's throwing away the match by not following up. What? He must be looking for a weapon of some kind. Well, Two. I was hoping to pull out a little bit of a kendo stick there, but uh, not going to happen apparently. He's got this reputation as a dangerous competitor. But if you take that Singapore cane away from him, he's nothing. Marcus Corvon coming through the with the kick to the stomach. Have much in the way of an amateur background, but he can get the job done with his bare hands. They've got Jeff Hardy right where they want him here. Marcus Corvon's on a rampage. WWE Champion Jeff Hardy is knocked out cold. Scary, no doubt about it. You don't see many superstars with the ability to physically dominate their opponents the way Marcus Corvon can. And he's not just strong, he's also quick. And Come on, Jeff, dig deep. Dangerous. The alpha male is an incredibly well-rounded superstar. And that makes it hard for his opponents to find a weak spot to exploit. They're now working on the leg manipulation game. And Corvon is rampaging this again. Is action at its finest. That's why Raw is the number one brand of sports entertainment. You've got that right, JR. You're not going to see this kind of action on SmackDown. Why? Not on SmackDown or I don't know what else, else more the uh, champion can There's do here. There's nothing else Why? out there that can come close to the excitement of seeing the Raw uh, superstars two. perform uh. live. Every time the champion seems to fight back, Corvon and Sandman have an answer. They are just tearing him limb from limb now. It's turning into a game for the ECW superstars. Not to try this stuff themselves. That's for damn. His opponent's down. We haven't seen Jeff Hardy handled like this at all throughout this season mode. This match, JR. Seven. Eight. And there's a little something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fans. The best superstars also finish off their opponents instead of giving them time to recover. 
Give me Sam man. A textbook reversal there. I'll get you, you bastard. What a vicious chair shot. There he goes, JR. He's been busted open. Look at all of that blood. Would you at least try and not sound so gleeful, King? This is serious. You're darn right it's serious, JR. It's deadly serious. All's fair in love and war, and this is definitely a war. Hardy's just hit the Swanton bomb. Corvon's reeling. Can his opponent kick out of this One, two, three. Against all odds, Jeff Hardy has just come out and defeated Sandman and Corvon in a two-on-one handicap match. I think they got more of a fight than they were expecting. Yeah, but they gave at least as good as they got. A physical encounter like that is not what the champ needed right before his title defense. Yeah, but what did he expect? That Mr. McMahon was just going to sit there and let him ruin his ceremony? No, I think he was prepared for a fight. But I do question his judgment. And Mr. McMahon's going to do whatever it takes to make sure he doesn't leave New Year's Revolution with the championship. I've got no idea how I pulled through there. But we did it. And that's how the rest of the card is shaping up. We've got somebody on the phone. All right, that's it. I'm sick of sticking my neck out for you. Consider my support of you officially withdrawn. You want to bring down Mr. McMahon's wrath on your head? So be it. But leave me and Raw the hell out of it. Oh, come on, coach. Lighten up. Have a bit of fun. We're just going to steadily simulate through the week. Keep an eye on that phone, because I can guarantee you it's going to blow up before revolution. And there it is. I can't stop watching the footage of you destroying the Hall of Fame ceremony. The look on his face is priceless. Now all you need is a win this Sunday to prove that there's nothing he can do to stop you. And that's what I'm aiming to do. It's just another day at the office for Jeff Hardy. This whole situation is incredibly frustrating, and I'm not really supporting you here. But you have the title, and we have a pay-per-view, so the show must go on. I show who you're ready for your challenger and that you're not too beaten up. Who, who are we taking on? Who are we taking on? Shad versus Carly. Mickey versus Tori. HBK and Cena versus Edge and Kenny. Triple H and Carlito. And we're taking on Chris Masters. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Year's Revolution. And if the challenger has his way, we'll have a new champion tonight. The champ has taken on all covers and survived the tell the tape. Yeah, but he made an enemy of Mr. McMahon in the process. Can the champion cross the boss and survive? We'll find out tonight. He's been named the number one contender. I don't know how. This might well be the biggest opportunity of his career. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The champ cannot afford to underestimate this man. Not if he wants to leave with the title. I'm honestly wondering here how the hell Chris Masters still keeps getting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And this man right here is also the reason why I'm wanting to change brands. I want to have a decent title run with the WWE Championship, but I'm sick and tired of having Chris Masters in every single fucking feud that I've undertaken on this brand. He's made an enemy of Mr. McMahon. He's been targeted by ECW, and his championship is on the line here tonight. Happy New Year, champ! He might get overthrown here at New Year's Revolution. There is no bigger a corner than Jeff Hardy has been forced into at this particular point in time. JR and the King just said it perfectly. We've got Vince McMahon after us. We've got ECW after us. We're now defending our championship against Chris Masters. Not to mention being champion. The whole locker room. 
is after an opportunity to take us on. This is the moment where Jeff Hardy needs to stand up and stand up strong. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the WWE Championship. New Year's Revolution, not really a pay-per-view I miss. There's definitely some pay-per-views that I miss from back in the day, but New Year's Revolution isn't one of them. Feel free to let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, which past wrestling pay-per-views do you miss and you'd like to see come back? To some capacity, even though I feel that the results were kind of tainted and WWE knew the results of like the percentages and everything else. Taboo Tuesday and Cyber Sunday were two pay-per-views I always loved arena. watching when I was Hope younger. To the Learn a lesson in respect here tonight. Hey, I'd love to actually have these fans those return and have the, the votes and actually count. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the votes back well, in the day could have been legitimate, but I just have always felt good when good it comes match. to those pay-per-views that the voting oh kind of this the superstars like knew which move. way the votes were going to go before the match even went he down that's what i'm trying to say in the meantime i just went for a swanton bomb and absolutely butchered it any superstar shows the slightest hint of weakness they've lost the match that's for sure these fans better watch out a vicious <laughs> slam of the head can we go for 10 one <laughs> two three four five Stop interfering in my huge, you bastard. the way he bounced his opponent's head off that barricade, JR? I think they're going to try to gut it out, JR, but guts will only get you so far. Sometimes it's just not physically possible to keep going. Running out of stamina definitely didn't hurt, uh, help my situation there. If anything, it hindered me. I tell you, King. Sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. Let's get a little bit of that well, back, shall we? Have a bit of a breather. What incredible... He's got the crowd and his opponent. Come on, bastards. That can change in an instant, especially if you let your opponent catch his breath. Let's get him in the ring, because I believe this fight right here... Just about every country. I missed. And I don't think he's climbing up... He's over. Swan Ton Bomb. Is it enough to pick up the win? He's going for the pin. One, One two, two, three. three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my uh, New Year's yeah, resolution of kicking ass that came true. The champion has retained. The champion has retained. Of course, the champion's retained. He had to fight for it, and he did. With everything he's had to deal with lately, I'm honestly shocked that he prevailed here tonight. It really could have gone either way, but he pulled it off, and that's all that matters. If overcoming adversity is the mark of a true champion, then that's exactly what we have before us. I'm not his biggest fan, but I'll give him credit for coming through when he needed to. That's yeah, on. Maybe this victory will finally convince Mr. McMahon to let it go. I doubt Don't it. Don't bet on it, JR. Mr. McMahon isn't the kind of guy to give up that easy. Absolutely correct. Not going to happen. But that match right there, that was a bit of a cakewalk considering the ass kicking we copped at the hands of Sandman and Corvon. Vaughn. You would have thought Masters would have come out and done a bit of damage. But uh, just like previous encounters... He failed to get the job done. Stephanie has sent us a message. Congratulations! Excellent work. Not only did you win, you beat ECW, and you showed that even the almighty Vince McMahon isn't all-powerful. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you, Stephanie. I aim to please. Raw champ overcomes odds, retains a title. Guys. Listen up. Here's the plan. Hang on, was that supposed to be Bobby Lashley? Because Bobby Lashley was knocked out there. So this is how you and your sister repay me, huh? By plotting against me? No, Dad, wait. 
listen, it's not like that at all. Uh, we're, we're victims here, too. Oh, really? I can't wait to hear this one. Oh, it's true. We were tricked into going along, and by the time we realized it, we were in too deep. What the fuck? So, who's the mastermind, then? He's in a pin it on me. Well, Dad, it's someone who's been a thorn in your side for a little while now. Yep. Never trust a McMahon. They say that for a reason. After going to bat for Shane and Stephanie, we've just been thrown under the bus, I feel, ladies and gentlemen. The phone is blowing up. But I'm going to leave that till the next episode to find out what the hell's going on. Because shit is about to get real. I can feel it. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. It does go a long way to supporting the channel. I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel and you wish to support myself just that little bit further, hit that red subscribe button down below as well. Pledge your allegiance to the God's Era Nation by doing so, and join one hell of a community of people. As I mentioned at the top of the video, if you've missed any episodes, there is a playlist you can go check out that is linked in the description down below. Social media links are also linked in the description down below, so if you don't follow me on them, go and do so. Hit that notification bell before you leave as well to stay up to date with what goes down on my channel. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.